Today I'm going to teach you E equal MC squared, which was discovered by Albert Einstein. E is equal to MC squared. So E stands for energy, and M is for mass, and C is for speed of light. Light is now Einstein said energy equal to mass, and mass is gonna multiply to ninety quadrillion. If you like my presentation, vote for me. Today we're going to be covering the Euler-Lagrange equation. Now this is going to be a very simple introduction, but basically this is what the Euler-Lagrange equation looks like. Now, first, if you really want to know the history of this, 1750s, Euler, Leonard Euler, Joseph Louis Lagrange, trying to solve the Tautochrone problem, which is basically if you have one point and another point in a gravitational field and no friction, then what is the shortest path you can draw for a ball to fall through? And quick tip, because of the gravitational field, it's not a straight line. So that's a simplified version of the Brachistochrome problem, which my brother wrote a paper on, hint, hint, second. If you liked my presentation, please vote for me. Today, I'll be teaching you about Newton's second law, F equals MA. In 1665, Isaac Newton, just only 23 years old, was sitting underneath an apple tree. And he was reading, and then an apple fell down. And then he looked up in the sky and he saw a moon. He then asked, how come? An apple falls, but the moon doesn't. He then wanted to solve this mystery, but there was no advanced math at the moment. So then he invented calculus. With this calculus, he invented F equals MA. This means force, which means force is proportional to mass and acceleration. And acceleration is proportional to force is inversely proportional to mass. Vote well, for me if you like my presentation. I'm going to explain the Einstein field equations. R mu nu minus one half R G mu nu plus the cosmological constant times G mu nu is equal to eight pi capital G over C to the fourth T mu nu. This one inch equation describes how gravity and matter interact. Let me explain. The fabric of space-time tells a matter how to move and matter tells space-time how to bend. Every big object has a large gravitational field and that gravitational field curves the fabric of space-time as if you have a bed sheet that is curved by a heavy ball. And that is all that this single one-inch field equation states. Folks, if you like my presentation, please vote for me.